Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so the wait ends here, folks, for John Jones and Stipe Miocic. Daniel Cormier has spent a combined five nights in the octagon with these two gentlemen. Your thoughts on what we might see here tonight? Two of the greatest fighters of all time. Two of the best mixed martial artists you have laid your eyes on. Stipe Miocic has a champion's mentality, a warrior spirit. And John Jones has the same. They have so many unique qualities. It's the fight IQ, though. It's John Jones that separates them from so many. How does Stipe match that? in order to get the biggest victory of his career. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' toilet card. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth with Safran Brogues. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right around the world. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Johnny Bone. Making all these shots count. Big right hook there by Champ. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot. Oh! Miocic appears wobbly. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, good block there. there by John Jones. We'll see the extent to which he can follow it up here. He's landing in bunches tonight. He, you know, this guy's from a great fighting family, right? Professional football players and both of his brothers. Big athletic father. I mean, so many different reasons why John Jones is the guy that he is today. Late round action now, and the storyline has been John Jones really from the outset. The ground and pound has been absolutely vicious. Yeah, just getting back to himself, J.A. Getting back to I'm the guy that's going to take it out and put your head on oh, Kimura now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. His work, I'm going to stand this transition. Up. Oh, great reversal to top position by Miacic. Got to be careful here. Trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm. Pushing the cook. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advanced. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. 
If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that Ready. cut on his cheek. I'm just saying, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> Good job defensively to block that punch. Caught that kick there. Oh, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick. Driving into his opponent and putting him on the mat. And big elbows land flush. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there. It's all John Jones with a huge TKO victory. Oh, my goodness. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones All right, so as usual, John Jones leaving an opponent in his wake. He gets it done tonight by TKO. He does a really good job of setting you up. John Jones gets to his position, gets his opponent hurt, and gets a TKO victory. It's what we expected early, and now we are seeing Jones as he's going on in his career do the same.